for Stitches Canyon City's Quilt Shop. Let's go in and talk to Randy. Let's do it. Okay, I'm putting on my mask. All this right. is Randy. He's our <laughs> store owner. <laughs> this is Mary. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm like, uh, Diana, she's going out to uh, check the mail. PJ's around here somewhere. So, what can I do for y'all? We'd just like for you to tell us about your store and how you came to be and why you, you came to be. want to be a business person in Canyon City. Boy, that's a that's a tough one. Uh, Oh, your phone's all cracked up too. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a story. So, uh, is this from previous interviews, perhaps? Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, well, the little house was built in 1934. I'll give you a little history on that. Uh, it's been a residence since uh, the early 80s, and then it's changed into it was a bicycle shop at once, and a gourmet popcorn. There was a massage parlor in the back. Really? Oh, there was. Yeah. So, they did massages in the back, and then we purchased it in 2012. And uh, we've added on. This was the, the basic of uh, the outside. And then we went ahead and added to the classroom because we do have some other areas in the back, little uh, outhouses, I guess you might want to say. But we've turned those into storage areas and we've kind of built it up. So. Beautiful in here. It is beautiful in here. Hi. Hi there, I'm PJ. I'm one of the staff. Hi, PJ. And this is my favorite place to be. Oh, oh, wonderful. It's not like work. It's like playing every day. It's a, it's a toy store for most. It is. Yeah. That's terrific. Well, come over here and I'll okay. show you a little bit. Obviously, yeah. We've kept the decor as far as, uh, you know, the brick, like I said. Uh, original windows, which is why we can't open them because, you know. <laughs> I think you got a nice area. I know. So, uh, the most modern part right here is the actual classroom. So this was the outside of the building, but we went ahead and added this on. And we have, we've had up to maybe 15, 20 people in here at once. Wow, well um, this is great, this is yeah. wonderful. And yeah. there's some of the classes that we do, obviously. Uh, we do webinars in here, other things. Uh, people just come in and sit and sew sometimes if they just want to get away from their house, and they come in here. Wow. So, pretty neat. Wow. So do you do the quilting as well? I do do quilting. In fact, this is one of mine right here. This one here. So this was actually a panel and then we went ahead and obviously pieced it together. Uh, I think that was one of PJ's who you just met. That little wall there is done by Kim. Uh, that one is a call of, a, um, well, row by row is what it's called. And the theme that year was music, so. Oh, cool. Uh, Others around here, every one of these has either been a class or at least, you know, a sample that we've done. Nice. Uh, we've got embroidery, we got sewing, and all sorts of crafts. If you want to make anything else, you can on purses. And PJ is really good with different types of samples and stuff. So, and you can sew on just about anything from leather to lace to, to cork to muslin, anything. Uh, how hey, somebody get that. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a customer. <laughs> what what turned you on to, to quilting and stitching? Um, well, in my previous life, I, I was in the Air Force and the military, and then I joined up the DLC and then the feds. And uh, I retired, obviously. Uh, my wife wanted to give me a second job or a third or fourth job, whatever it was. <laughs> and uh, I just kind of got involved because the whole story goes that she wouldn't put Harley patches on my vest. So I had to learn how to do it. And then I just kind of started taking classes on that. And then I said, well, I can do that. I can do that. And then eventually it's just what happened. So wow, I started cool. buying my own machines. I started doing my own embroidery. I did my hat. Nice. See? Nice. It even has a tilde on it. Yeah, it does. It's very cool. Cool. So, um, we have this. Oh, I'll show you a little story real quick. We had a girl, had a girl for years ago. She's out in college now and then working in uh, the real world. But a few years ago, she couldn't afford a sewing machine. So what I did was basically said, if you work for me, I'll give you the sewing machine. So what she did was she did the bathroom. Oh. And she painted it pink. <laughs> and she put all the borders up here and everything. But this is Jade's bathroom. Nice. And luckily, it's all nice and clean. And we obviously have a uh, grandfather clock for some reason here. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's, it's an interesting <laughs> bathroom. So it's cute. I know. So. I'm sure you're not going to get that in too many interviews, right? <laughs> that's right. terrific. So, and that's it. It's a nice little store. We, uh, oh, there's some other robot rows. Mitch, I have the music one, and there's one with the, the train and the rafting and all that. Oh, cool. So, robot rows happen every year. And that's just another one of the things we do. Nice. Well, that's cool. Thanks, So, man. that's a cute little place. Like I said, it's a little toy shop for most people. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, there's actually a place, and you can see this, there's actually... Some uh, software that you can actually just stitch things out as a character, and we stitch that out of Kim. Oh. <laughs> so you can stitch out just about anything you want. Yeah, that's yeah. a fun place to look around yeah. for sure. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for being a chamber member, Randy, and we appreciate your time today. I love the town, I love the businesses, I love the chamber, everything about it, and glad y'all came by. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.